Hey viewers and subscribers, greetings. You know, I was recently in my e-learning website here and I saw this amazing photo uploaded by one of our subscribers in the artistic section of premium courses and I was like totally blown away. I had to find out how this was done. I've seen double exposure, but I've never seen double exposure photography done so exquisitely artistic. So I reached out to the photographer. The photographer is none other than a professional photographer based in the United States, James Sanders. James Sanders is a pro cert program graduate and a professional photographer as well. And I ask, you know, James, how did you do this? Do you mind teaching me? And you know what's the good measurement of a successful and good photographer? Someone that's willing to teach. And James immediately said, hey, I'll teach you how to do it. I'll make a video, in fact. You know, when sometimes photographers say that you probably expect a video to take like years before they send you, or maybe none. Saying it is one thing, doing it is another. You know what? James went right ahead on the same day and did the video, a complete video step-by-step -step of how he nailed this shot. In fact, I was, you know what? I want to share this video with you. And James, if you're watching this, I want to say a big thank you for doing this video. And I have so much to learn myself. Hey, good news. Our country is celebrating our Independence Day soon and we're having a 50% promo for all our e-learnings, our premium courses and all access. So hurry, head on to our website right here now and sign up and save 50%. Do not miss this offer. This offer is going to be valid until the 31st of August 2022. Quick! Hey Andrew, um, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do that multiple exposure uh, silhouette that I did. Now I'm going to bring my camera over here, well my phone. Um, so over here is where we're going to do it on this wall. <clears throat> I'm using two flashes. Um, that one is set to full power and then I have another one over here off to the side that is um, less than half power um, this one doesn't tell me so I don't really know the ranges as far as numbers go um, and then I have my Canon 5D Mark III and I'm using a shutter to trigger the flashes <clears throat> uh, my settings are ISO 100 at f16 at 1 over 200 and I am using a shutter release. <clears throat> so if I get in position, take my picture. Okay, let me uh, turn this around so you can see. So we have our silhouette. Now what we do is disconnect our shutter. And then I am going to take this off of the tripod. And if you have any um, recommendations for a better tripod than this, this is just a cheap one that from Walmart that was gave to me by my neighbor um, so I use that one a lot and then what we're going to do I am going to switch the camera over um, to the back camera and I'm going to show you the settings and what I need to do and the background from right here and sorry if <laughs> I keep looking up here my camera is actually down here because it's like tilted sideways so I got to Pay attention to that more. So let me just switch the camera over and reposition. Okay. So what we do is we got to get, I am using the 85 millimeter. Um, we have to change our settings back before we do anything. So for this, I'm going to go to ISO 800. 
and I'm going to do um, so ISO 800 at f 1.8 1 over 100 so what you have to do once you get your setting right because I'm going to be using this as my background click on this little button here go over to multiple exposure then you want to click on function slash control make sure it's on additive then you come down here and you click the um, silhouette that you just took once it says it's ready you're ready to take your other picture so there we go and that's how you do the multiple exposure with the cannon now it's pretty um, similar way with Nikon as well I believe I hope that helps um, I can send a email also explaining it um, yeah I've been there I was nervous making this video um, Cause you're like a legend to me just saying um you've taught me so much and when you asked if i could teach you this it was it's such an honor so i'm glad i could show you something um with everything that you've done and taught me i'm glad i could help um i would love to see what you come up with because i know people have taken this to a whole new level um I've had this camera since February, and I just now figured it out how to do it. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see what you come up with, <clears throat> and um, maybe if you show it in a video or on your website, um, it'd be awesome to check out. So I uh, hope this helps, and I will talk to you later. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, I kindly invite you to head onto my e-learning website here and check out our e-learning courses. The same e-learning courses that James Sanders have been enjoying and participating and submitting his photos. If you want to be good in photography, there's only one way. Learn it well and then share your photos and shoot a lot of photos and teach others as well. So I invite you to head onto my e-learning and don't forget we're having our promo now. Everything in there is 50% off if you sign up now. So hurry, don't miss this.